Hi all, it's Peg here and I just wanted to do a quick capture for you of something I've been working out. Um, as you all know or may know, I attended an event this month uh, sponsored by Tailored Expressions here at the Des Moines Area Community College. They will be having another event next year on the 9th and 10th of October, so mark your calendar because they have some of the cutest stuff I've ever seen. Um, I'm going to be working today with some of their stamps and dies. These are some of the cute sets. This is a cute little monster set. Uh, comes with the die, and you can see it's got Candy Monster and Did Someone Say Party and um, this little guy, which I just adore. And then they also have more die and more little monsters. Um, for birthday events or other events in people's lives. Um, I also adore this little set. It's a trick-or-treat um, Halloween saying expressions set and I just think they're too cute. So with that said, let's move on to what we're doing today. I've got a template here. Um, I'm going to put a picture up on the blog so you can have the measurements. But what we're doing is we're creating a cute little card. And so with that, you know, you're going to take, this is a 4 by 12 inch piece. So if you have a 12 by 12 inch piece, you can get three cards out of that. You're going to score it at 2, 4, 8, and 10 and then do diagonal lines from 2 inches to 6 inches and from 10 inches to 6 inches. And the way you do that is just turn it. See I put a mark here so that I can line it up. I just turn it and score there on that line. So once you have that, then you're just going to fold on those score lines. And create the card itself by doing so. And this is what they call is like a pinch. See here on the sides where these little triangles are going to go. I guess I didn't get that done very well. These little triangles then you're going to pinch and push this back to the back side. Maybe if I do one side at a time it'll be easier. Okay, so this is going to go back like this and this also is going to go back behind and come forward. There we go. And you're going to create this little pop out for your card, okay? Now, you can do these other sizes. Here's one that I started this morning. And you can see that it's much larger. So this is just a 6 inch. And you're doing it the same scores, the same way. It's just that this dimension in here is going to be a little bit different. And what I did was I flipped it over and just traced it to get the piece that I was going to cut out for the inside on that one. So here's our card. And what I want to show you on here is the wobble. I just adore these. Um, I don't know if you guys have used them before, but my grandkids and I love them. And you see it's got this little jiggly. Um, it's a little spring that fits inside of there and it holds it up off the card and gives it that dance. So there's our card for today. You just cut your pieces to embellish. Um, these are squares that are just cut diagonally in half and I think that um, you can figure out the measurements. If not, email me. I'd be glad to measure it and send it to you. So, happy Monday. Have fun making Halloween treats. Bye.